Well, good day, everybody. I'm ADV Medic, and uh, out here at the Woodruff Narrows. Today, I want to talk about uh, something that's kind of important, and, and I, you know, I don't want to really rant and rave, but, but uh, if I could maybe help someone else, that'd be good. So, a few years ago, uh, you know, if you couldn't tell by now, I'm a big fan of fishing, and I have for all my life. I've been fishing and especially in these uh, Uinta Mountains and the Ashley National Forest and uh, Wasatch National Forest, which is all up here around the uh, northeast Utah and, and uh, southwest Wyoming areas. And I think this is probably something that's common throughout the world, really, because it seems like the, the fishing game for the U.S. is uh, kind of sets the standard for the rest of the world. So, well, I guess I can't go this way. <laughs> This is the problem with the water being high. The uh, That drops down about three feet right there, so I don't want to swamp this uh, bike today. <laughs> so we'll go around the other way here. So, anyway, but the, uh, the fishing game, uh, you know, they try to manage things properly, but sometimes I think they, uh, I don't know, they get, they get, uh, a little fool themselves or, or get, you know, kind of crazy idea in their head from having to listen to, you know, save the trees lobbyists or whatever. There's a place where I, I fish, used to fish a lot that, uh, and I was raised fishing uh, that has been destroyed by the fishing game and I'm really upset about it. So in the Ashley National Forest, and it's happened in several different tributary systems in that area. Uh, this is just the latest of them. Uh, but the Spirit Lake drain off, so Spirit Lake, Tamarack Lake, uh, Spirit Lake Creek, and those areas uh, were were killed off by the fishing game recently, uh, about three years ago, three or four years ago. Uh, and when I say killed off, I mean there was millions of of uh, brook trout, rainbow trout in these uh, lakes and streams up there, and and. Uh, the system was really doing well. It was uh, it was healthy and thriving, and uh, you know that you could it could handle the massive amount of traffic that it got every weekend up there from all the people going up there to go fishing, and and it was a healthy system. And uh, the fishing game decided it wasn't uh, natural, so they decided that they were going to kill off. Uh, the brook trout and, and rainbow trout in the area, and they're going to plant tiger trout. And that's an entry measure, putting tiger trout in, because tiger trout are a hybrid and they're sterile. They can't breed. And uh, they do that for the purpose of trying to introduce or reintroduce the natural fish, supposedly, which is cutthroat trout. And like love or hate cutthroat trout, I'm not a huge fan. The reason for it is, is I'm mainly a catch and release type of person. Uh, I don't eat a lot of fish. Uh, my wife doesn't like to eat fish. Um, I like to, but uh, I don't eat a lot, you know, but uh, when fishing is good, you're not going to catch two trout and then quit fishing. You know, you're going to keep fishing. So you catch and release. And the only time I really keep fish is when I can't throw them back because I maybe hooked them a little late. And so it got down deep and I damaged the fish and so I've got to I've got to eat him or or uh, you know or I'm in the mood for it but uh, for the most part I'm always going to try to do my best to get those fish back in the water as soon as possible and keep them alive and keep them thriving to be able to catch them another day and to let other people catch them as well well fish and game decided that catch and release apparently is not what they want to have and and so they'll put uh, these tiger trout in the water and they're kind of a fun fish to catch but they're not they're not natural to the area and they can't keep up. You know, the the, uh, the people that catch these fish, they're catching them and they'll take their full bag limit of eight fish or whatever it is in the area and they're harvesting all these fish and, and by the time we get to the area, there's just nothing left. So unless you get there uh, after the truck has got there and, and dumped off all the fish and, and that, 
you know, you get those. But they also, I don't think they taste as good. I mean, brook trout are far better. They're native fit. They're, I should say native. I don't think they're native, but they were introduced a long time ago, you know, I don't know, 50, 100, however long ago. And uh, they, uh, they thrive in there and they taste great and they breed and they have a nice stable system that uh, is healthy and they, they do well and they can handle the massive number of people uh, for a lot of different reasons, but but they also taste great. So when you want to eat one, you know, you catch one that's 8, 10, 12 inches, uh, you know, just a big enough for a pan. Um, they're great to work with. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's really sickening to me because they, what they did was, is without really talking about it very much, uh, they went in there and killed these fish off. They put some chemical in the water that stopped the fish from being able to breathe and killed them all off. Millions and millions of fish. And it just broke my heart. I mean, it, it was, that was where I learned to fly fish. It was where I taught two of my kids to fly fish. And it was where I wanted to teach two of my other kid, my other two kids to fish. And, uh, you know, these, they destroyed this system. And now you go there, it's been now three, four years. And now you go there on the river, never catch a fish. I mean, I've been fishing that river for for my entire life. I'm 40 years old, and, and in the first 35 years of my life, you could we always caught fish in there. And uh, now you could you could catch fish there to save your life. And uh, you know, it's just heartbreaking because uh, you know it was totally wasteful. And uh, I just, I just can't believe that they would do that to that system. So if you see, uh, if you see an area or hear of an area where the fishing game is going to start planting natural fish or native fish in an area, uh, my f most fervent recommendation is to fight that with all of your heart, mind, and strength. I, you know, it is not going to help. And uh, that looks pretty stinking steep. I don't think I'm going to try that today. Not by myself. <laughs> not to mention it looks very loose. Not by myself. So, but uh, anyway, so like I say, if, if you hear of the fishing game trying to uh, plant native fish in an area where you're working or where you live and uh, and that I would highly recommend fighting it with everything you have I didn't hear about this until it was already done and and uh, there was nothing more to be said it was already already perpetrated but uh, you know I <sighs> I wish there was something we could have done about it but uh, so if you hear the fishing game trying to, you know, plant native fish, find out if they're going to kill off all the other fish in there to try to give them a chance. And, uh, and if you want to have a, a day of not catching fish, you know, any day fishing is a good day. But if you want to if you want to enjoy a good day of uh, not catching fish, just come up to the Spirit Lake drainage. Uh, you can catch a few on Spirit Lake, but if you like river fishing, uh, good luck. You might catch one or two, but that's probably all you're going to get. Uh, it's uh, pretty poor, and uh, you can guarantee that in the future it's not going to get much better because they've done it before, they've done it other places, and uh, it's still quite bad after 15 to 20 years. Uh, and uh, so it's just heartbreaking that uh, they would destroy that, that system of of uh, fishing and and uh, just really not have anybody hold them accountable for it. So uh, do your best to fight that kind of a kind of a efforts and uh, hopefully the uh, fishing game will grow either a spine or or a brain and learn uh, what works and what doesn't and uh, really take some time to to think about their decisions before they kill off an entire uh, species within a system. Uh, those kinds of uh, efforts, I think, are, are really wasteful and, and really damaging 
to the uh, quality of the of the area. So I hope you have a good day. I'm the ADV Medic. Thanks for listening to my rant, and we'll see you on the trails. <laughs>